Hello, my name is Dan Callen. Today we want to look at the OBIS single laser remote that offers full features for control of the OBIS lasers. The OBIS scientific remote is a full remote interface for the OBIS smart lasers. The OBIS scientific remote is a single box solution coming with internal power supply, offering safety features such as a key switch for standby as well as turning on the laser emission, an interlock connector for the interlock safety of the lasers. And then every laser offered has the analog and digital modulation SMB inputs. So an analog voltage could be put into the laser to vary its power, or a digital signal could be put into the SMB to turn the laser on and off. And these can be done remotely. And then in between each of the SMBs is also a status indicator telling you the status of each laser. So now turning on the OBIS scientific remote, we have all the control features on a simple touch screen. So everything can be accessed from turning on and off the lasers as well as their individual settings. OBIS is a smart laser, so the computer system can actually search and find each laser which has its own unique name, unique wavelength, and power. So in this case, we have the OBIS 405 nanometer 100 milliwatt laser. On channel 2 we have a 445 75 milliwatt laser. On channel 3 we have a 488 nanometer. On channel 4 is the 473. On channel 5 is a 561 nanometer laser. And on channel 6 is a 640 a red laser. And so each laser is displayed with its appropriate power, maximum power output, and the status of each laser as well as the ability to start and stop the lasers. Turning the key switch to on, of course, will now enable us to use the touch screen to individually start or stop the lasers. So in this series here, you can see the lasers are starting. And then you can manually select different lasers to stop or to start. You can also choose to start all the lasers, or if you'd like, to stop all the lasers. So the control features are very unique in that you can control any laser you want discreetly through the front panel controls. Also, the most relevant application is you want to change the power of a laser. So if you were to press on the first laser, for example, it comes up with a power adjust screen. So here's the 405-100 laser. Operating power is 100 milliwatts, and currently we are at 100 milliwatts. You could change the power by using the touch screen, or you can just go to these presets, 10% of the power, 50% of the power, or 90% of the power. And these buttons can be programmed, so if you would like that button to represent 95% of the power, you could choose 95, and then press and hold the button to change that reset. So now that's 95% power for that button. To go back to the summary, push the summary page, and now you can see that the 405 nanometer laser is running at 95 milliwatts. There's a lot more features to the OBIS scientific remote. There are also settings that you can adjust for the remote. There's preferences, there's a, the display setting where you can change the brightness, even the color scheme. There's a speaker in the OBIS scientific remote, as well as networking features that you can interface with the OBIS scientific remote. The display can be turned off in applications where you do not want that extra light, and then clicking on the display will turn it back on. And there's also remote features if a remote host is connected, either RS-232, USB, or Ethernet. There's controls to lock out or enable remote access to the device. So the OBIS Scientific Remote is a very simple, straightforward user interface to control up to six OBIS lasers. The OBIS Scientific Remote back panel, again, is a full-featured product in that it has an internal power supply that can be universal voltage from 90 to 260 volts AC, a power switch to turn the laser systems on and off, an integrated cooling fan as well, and then 
discrete SDR connectors with a single cable that can go to each laser. These SDR connectors bring power, modulation, as well as I.O. to each laser. So you have one, two, three, four, five, up to six lasers connected to the OBIS scientific remote. And a, a lot of versatility with respect to how it interfaces also to a host computer. So one USB connector can connect all six lasers through one USB to the host computer. And it is addressable so that you can individually address each laser separately. Or one RS-232 connection can go to the host computer. Again, each laser can be separately addressed. As well as an Ethernet connection that can then allow the OBIS remote to go onto your network, which is a powerful feature in that if you have a wireless network, then that cable would, of course, put the information onto the wireless network. And then from anywhere on your network, you could use your laptop computer and interface to the OBIS scientific remote. Included with the OBIS scientific remote is the software that runs on a PC that can duplicate the controls you see on the front panel. The OBIS is a smart family of lasers in that the controller is integrated into the laser head. But with any smart laser, there is a lot of control that can be offered remotely through the single SDR cable that OBIS provides. This is a very compact remote control for the OBIS laser. Again, it is an accessory. It's not necessary for the control of the laser, but it does offer a lot of safety features that can complement a laser system. So with any laser system, safety features such as an interlock is vital to open and close the circuits, as well as a key switch to offer standby and laser emission, to offer laser emission control from a remote location. The OBIS single laser remote offers different status indicators for the lasers on, if there's a fault, if there's a remote control through the USB or RS-232, and the final LED would be for laser emission. Also, it comes with a separate on-off switch to turn the remote and the laser system on and off. The rear panel of the OBIS remote is very busy in the fact that there's so much coming out of the OBIS smart laser. We have a separate USB connector that can talk to the remote as well as to the laser. There is a USB connector on the laser as well, so this is redundant. But the fact is this USB does allow you to get some additional access points to the laser for setting different system values. There's a RS-232 connector that allows you to talk to a host computer through RS-232. There's a full feature I.O. connector for analog signals. And then on the bottom is the SDR connector. This is a single cable to bring power communications and modulation to the laser head. OBIS lasers offer separate digital and analog modulation inputs. These are SMB connectors to allow you to turn the laser on and off through digital or to vary the laser power through analog. And then finally, the OBIS lasers run off a single 12-volt power supply. Again, you can power the laser directly with this power supply or you can power the remote with the power supply. And the advantage is giving the remote the power, the 12-volt power, will also then transfer the power directly to the laser head through the SDR cable. In its normal operation, the OBIS single laser remote, again, has the SDR cable connecting the remote to the laser and a single 12-volt power supply. The same power supply that could be used at the back of the laser, but now we're using it on the OBIS remote. So now this is a complete OBIS laser system. We can turn the remote on by using the on-off switch and the laser is in standby mode with the blue light. This is also indicated on the laser. Turning the laser emission on is turning the key switch. Now the laser is flashing that it's warming up and that the laser emission is on. And now the laser has completed its warm-up cycle and is emitting laser light. Again, the OBIS, the OBIS remote comes with the safety features such as an interlock which again would cause a fault in the system that can easily be replaced. And then with the emissions again turned on, the laser system is up and running. So the OBIS remote is a full featured remote bringing all the signals out of the laser for easy access for the user as well as laser safety features.